Father, we worship you this night. Thank you so much for this opportunity to be in this place, oh God, of worship, my God. Thank you, my God, that you have kept us this far. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for your guidance. Thank you even for your word this evening. From Romans chapter 8, verse 37. Those who are joining us this evening, I'd like to invite you to read with me. Romans 8, 37 says, No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, neither angels, nor demons, neither the present, nor the future, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Let me read verse 39 again. Neither height nor depth, depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Father, we thank you for your love. Thank you, Jesus, that through the cross, through your sacrifice, O oh Lord, we have access to this unconditional love that you have for us. And Father, this night we are here, Lord, to celebrate you, to celebrate your love. Father, even to position ourselves in your love, even in this season, in the trying moments, O oh God, in the difficult circumstances, O oh God. Father, for those of us who have many questions that we have answers, O oh Lord, I pray that we look to you and trust in you, O oh God, whose wisdom is above all else. But Father, Lord, I pray that we will trust in your love, O oh God, that you love us perfectly in this season, O oh God, in this very moment that your love for us is perfect, that nothing can separate us from your love, O oh God. Father, we hold on to this, O oh God. Thank you, Jesus. We lift up our voices in worship to you, our Lord. Thank you for your sacrifice, O oh God. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for your blood that makes us new, O oh God. Thank you for the victory that we have in you. Oh, we worship you, Jesus. We worship you, God. Let praises rise from the inside, from the inside.
rescue has ransomed me, His grace runs deep. While I was a slave to sin, Jesus died for me. Yes, He died for me. Whom the Son, whom the Son sets free. Oh, it's free. child of God. Yes, I am. In my Father's house. In my Father's house. There's a place for me. I'm a child of God. Yes, I am. Whom the Son sets free.
the victory. He reigns on high. Our God is risen. He is alive. He won the victory. He reigns on high. Our God, our God is risen. Come on, declare it. He is alive. He won the victory. This evening, even as we go into this session, tunamshukuru Bwana. Amen. 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 He has been a faithful God. And if you are at home watching us, it is time to stand up and Ooh, find some yes. space. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Tumshukuru Bwana kwa sababu wamekua mwema. Regardless of the seasons, God has been faithful. Amen. Amen. Makofi kwae. Let's <laughs> 
Father, we bless you. We worship you. We are grateful for yet another time you've given us to just come and worship you, to just come and exalt you and declare your goodness and your faithfulness. Indeed, there is no God who can be compared to you. You are exalted on high, O God. You are high and lifted up. And we love you and we bless you and we honor you today, O God. For we have no other God to worship. We have no other God to exalt, O God. We have no other God to magnify. We have no other God to sing praises to. We have no other God to lift this evening, our Father. We bless your holy name today. We worship you, our Father. And we thank you for your presence. We thank you for your goodness among us, Lord, and in our midst. What a faithful God you are. And what a wonderful God you are. Online church, thank you so much even for joining us for our worship night this evening. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter number 46, and I'm going to read verse 9 downwards. Isaiah chapter number 46, verse 9. Remember the former things, those of long ago. I am God and there is no other. I am God and there is none like me. That is God speaking. He continues to say, I make known the end from the beginning, from ancient times, what is still to come. I say, my purpose will stand, and I will do all that I please. From the east, I summon a bird of prey, from a far off land, a man to fulfill my purpose. What I have said, that I will bring about. What I have planned, that I will do. God is speaking to the children of Israel when they are in captivity and he's telling them, remember the former things, those of long ago, that I am God and there is no other. Compared to other beings, compared to other, other things, God is in a class of himself. And this evening, as we worship him, we are telling him that God, you are in a class of your own. No one can compare to you. There is none like our God. And that is what we have been declaring in the songs of today. That none come away with. There is no God like our God. And I love verse 10. It says, I make known the end from the beginning. From ancient times, what is still to come. I say my purpose will stand and I will do all that I please. I'm here to encourage you who is watching us today. You who is watching from your living room. You who is watching from a hospital bed. I'm here to come and encourage you and tell you there is a God in heaven who has a purpose for your life. And God says, my purpose will stand. Whatever I have said will happen, it will happen because he's a faithful God. God is able to declare the end from the beginning. That is the God that we serve. And this evening, you are there and you're wondering how your life is or how it will be. I'm here to encourage you and remind you that there is a God in heaven. He told the children of Israel, remember the former things, those of long ago. I am God and there is none like me. That means he is able to do what he says he will do. If he says he'll accomplish his purpose, 
that is what will happen. If he says that he will do something for you, that is what God will do because he's a faithful God. He has been faithful from generations past. He was telling them, remember what I have done. We have sung to mshukuruni buwana kwa kuwa yeye ni muema. Alimshinda farao na majeshi yake yote. I am here to tell you that that is the God that you are worshipping. And that God will bring about to pass that purpose which he has for you. That the purpose of God for your life shall stand in the name of Jesus. Not because I have said it, but because he is God. He says, I am God and there is no other. Therefore, I have the power to declare that your purpose, my purpose for your life shall stand. That which I have declared, decreed for your family, for your business. It doesn't matter what is happening right now. Probably because of the coronavirus, you are in a situation and you're wondering, how am I going to come out of this? I'm here to encourage you. The purpose of God for your life shall stand because there is a God in heaven who decrees and brings to pass what he has decreed. Whatever he says, he accomplishes because he's a faithful God. He says in his word, he's not a man that he should lie. So it doesn't matter right now where you are. You feel like you're in between a rock and a hard place. I'm here to tell you tonight that there is a God in heaven who will bring to pass that which he has declared concerning your life, your family, and even your future. Because he is able to declare the future and bring it to pass. That is a God that we serve. And so online church, be encouraged where you are. There is a purpose where you are watching us this evening. God knew that you will be watching us this evening. God knew that you will be flipping here and there looking for a link to watch. And you came to our link, Kaisisiki Tengela. And as you are watching, God knew that you will be watching. And God knew that there was a purpose for you even to be able to stream and to watch this production. God has a purpose for your life. And God declares that my purpose will stand. God's purpose for your life shall stand, my brother and my sister. And probably you're not even born again, and you're wondering, and you have been asking yourself, and you have been probably thinking that this is not the day to get saved. Maybe I can get saved next year. I'm here to tell you that God has a purpose for your life, and the purpose of God for your life is a good purpose. When those children were in exile, God spoke through Jeremiah the prophet and he told them that pray for the king, the land you are in. Yes, you are in captivity, but pray for that king because when that king prospers, you will prosper. Build houses, marry and get married. God had a purpose for them and the purpose of God was not to destroy them. And when God told them to do those things, he told them that because I know the plans I have for you, my brother, my sister, God knows the plans that he has for you. And they are good plans. He decreed his plans for your life. And his plans for your life is not to destroy you, not to harm you, but to give you a hope and a future. Even now, there is hope for you. Even now, you have a future because there is a God in heaven who has decreed a purpose for your life. Therefore, if you are there and you are not born again, I want to pray with you. I want to invite you into the kingdom of God. This kingdom that will never be defeated. This kingdom that belongs to the God who decrees things and they come to pass. The God who cannot be changed, cannot be moved, cannot be overcome or overtaken by anything. And so you are there and you are not saved. And you are watching us. And you are telling yourself, I need Jesus. I need this God. I feel hopeless right now. I feel like as if God has forgotten me. I'm here to remind you God has a purpose for your life. Repeat this prayer after me. Say, dear Lord Jesus, I acknowledge I am a sinner. And tonight, I welcome you into my heart. I ask you to be my Lord and my Savior. Write my name in the book of life. Give me your Holy Spirit that I may live for you for the rest of my life. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for receiving me. And thank you for making me a child of God. In Jesus' name. If you have made that prayer, I assure you, you are saved and your name is in the book of life. And there is much in store for you that God has prepared. And you are there and you are saying, I've been suffering and struggling. 
Maybe because of the coronavirus, I've lost my job and I don't know what will happen. My business has crumbled. I'm here to tell you that God decrees something and it comes to pass. He gave you that job. He gave you that business. And now it is no longer there. God still has a purpose for your life. His purpose for you has not ended because your job has ended. His purpose for us has not ended because we are in a pandemic. His purpose for us has not ended because we appear or seem to be between a rock and a hard place. His purpose shall stand no matter what. And therefore, I want to pray with you. You are there and you are that person that is feeling what will happen to my life. What will come out of the situation I am in? What will be the result of this predicament or pandemic? I want to pray with you. Just stretch your hand towards your screen by faith. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and we bless you because you are a God who is purposeful. You are a God who decrees things and they come to happen, Father. You never lie. If you say you will lift up, Lord, it doesn't matter how low dark it is. It doesn't matter how low we are. It doesn't matter how rock bottom we have hit. If you say you will lift, you will lift, O oh God. If you say, Lord Jehovah, that you will uphold us, you will uphold us. And right now there are people watching me, Lord, and their lives seem to have crumbled. Their businesses have crumbled. They have been laid off from their workplaces. Lord, their finances are not adding up. They don't know about tomorrow. But Father, we come to you because you are a good God. You are a faithful God. All of our lives you have been faithful. You have never stopped being faithful. And even now, Lord, you are faithful to lift us up. You are faithful to make a way. You are faithful to turn lives around. You are faithful to perform a miracle. You are faithful even to heal. Lord God, one might be watching from a hospital bed. And Lord, they have received a report that they are not going to come out of that situation. Lord, your purpose is that they shall be healed in the name of Jesus. And therefore, Lord, I speak healing upon them in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord, some have died, Lord Almighty, from the condition they have. But I want to speak life in Jesus' name because you have a purpose for them. They might be in a hospital bed right now, but tomorrow, Lord, only you know what you have in store for them. No eye has seen, no ear has heard, no has it entered the heart of man what you have prepared and stored for them that have put their hope in you. Therefore, Lord, we put our hope in you. Right now, our finances are not adding up. We put our hope in you. Right now, our bodies are against us. We put our hope in you. Right now, our businesses have crumbled. We put our hope in you. Right now, our economy is shaken. We put our hope in you. Because your purpose for us and for our lives and our families shall stand in Jesus' name. I pray and I believe. Shout a big amen. Amen means let it be so. That shall happen because there is a God in heaven. Be encouraged. The purpose of God for your life shall stand in Jesus' name. We love you. May God bless you and watch over you and bring to pass that which he has declared concerning your life. That which God has spoken, keep speaking it, keep declaring it, and it shall come to pass because there is a God who brings to pass what he says shall happen in Jesus' name. God bless you so much. Thank you even for watching us. Amen. Jameleza ko mungu wangu Nikiwa na zoheshi mazote Nina kiria le uhuya tenda yo Hakika wewe ni mwema Papa, wa mataifa. Unafanya mambo bwana. 
Unatenda mambo ya ajabu Tumekiri yale uyatendayo Bwana Nakiri yale uyatendayo Hakika wewe ni mwema Bwana Hakika wewe ni mwema Wewe ni mwema Tendayo maishani mwetu Tinakiri yale Uya tendayo Hakika wewe ni mwema buwana Hakika Wewe ni mwema Momu wezo wayote Wewe ni mwema Haufana nishi Wewe ni mwema Haufana nishu na kitu chochote buwana Wewe ni mwema buwana Upendo wako mepaki kuwa ule ule buwana Hasatu Yesu Hasatu kwa upendo wako buwana Hasatu kwa wema wako Hallelujah Wewe over your family, over your children. We want to believe in the Lord's promises, that indeed his promises are yes and amen in Christ. And that is what we are singing over you this moment. Thank you, Jesus.
you make his face shine upon and be gracious to you the lord turn his face toward you and give you peace mm, the lord the lord bless you shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Oh, amen. Amen. Children. 